The supraclavicular nerve block is useful for arm surgery distal to the shoulder. The block can be performed with the patient in a supine position, but access is easier if the shoulder is elevated as illustrated in the picture. Locate the clavicle and place the probe slightly cranial to it. Identify the pulsating subclavian artery, here marked in red. Tilt the transducer slightly cranially to identify the brachial plexus, here marked in purple, in the interscaline groove. Trace the nerves back to the supraclavicular position in order to visualize all the branches, which we've here marked in purple. Prep the area with an antiseptic solution according to your local guidelines. The point of insertion will be a couple of centimeters away from the edge of the probe. This keeps the procedure sterile and allows for a shallower angle of approach which helps visualizing the needle. Puncture the skin and place a small amount of local anesthetic just at the point of insertion. When approaching the nerves, Take care to identify the following structures. The pleural line, which we've here marked in yellow, should be avoided at all times. The orange structure is the first rib, which can often be removed from the picture by a slight rotation of the rear end of the probe. This allows for an easier access to the brachial plexus. Try to keep the needle visualized during the entire procedure. Start to inject local anesthetic below the artery where the ulnar component is usually located. Once again, note the proximity of the pleura. You can see the spread of local anesthetic which we've here marked in green. In the block that we've filmed here, the spread down to the ulnar component was actually inadequate, so we had to go back and complement it with an isolated ulnar block. We reposition the needle in order to see to it that local anesthetic is spread evenly around all branches of the brachial plexus. You may need to retract the needle a couple of centimeters in order to approach the plexus at a shallower angle in order to reach the shallower branches. Inject a total volume of 40 milliliters of local anesthetic and aim to completely surround the plexus as we've done here and marked in green. These are our suggestions for which local anesthetics to use, but take care to follow local guidelines.